bite this candy and come on into my kitchen because I'm gonna make one of my favorite hot chocolate wintery treats for you guys. It's what I call whipped hot chocolate. It is so good and it's super easy to make and it's super addicting. Like I wanna make a lot of batches of this every day, but I will show you how to do it. It's really easy. All you're going to need is some powdered sugar, um, your favorite hot chocolate powder, some vanilla, some heavy whipping cream, which mine is staying nice and cool in the fridge, a bowl, a whisk, pots and pans, and all that kind of stuff. But let's get going and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that we need is milk. And I normally just eyeball this, like I don't really know how much I put in there, but I'm going to try to do it so you guys will know. So we're gonna put two cups of milk in here. Pour it into our pot. I like to take a tablespoon of vanilla extract and now we're gonna take this over to the stove. I'm gonna take about a quarter of a cup of the sweet ground cocoa. Now we're gonna turn this to medium heat. And instead of using a regular spoon, I like to take a whisk and slowly whisk this up. This gets rid of any chunks or kind of clumps of the sweet cocoa powder. We just whisk it up so it's all smooth. And I'm gonna turn this down to medium low. Now here comes the best part. We're gonna make our yummy whipped cream for the whipped hot chocolate part. So we're going to need some heavy whipping cream. And I've tried with other substitutes and nothing really works as a substitute for the heavy whipping cream. And then to make it really whippy, um, I like to keep the bowl in the freezer, just chill it for a couple minutes. Something about it being extra cold helps it just become whipped cream a little faster. So for this, again, I just eyeball it, but I'm going to try to use measurements to show you. So I'm going to put a cup of heavy whipping cream into our bowl. I'm gonna take a teaspoon or a little dash of vanilla extract. Then we need to make it sweet, so I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, now it's time to whip it. You can use a mixer or you can use a hand mixer. I'm gonna go the hand version because I will be burning some calories and you will see just how sweaty you get because you're doing a lot of whipping here. So, you start like this. And you do this for about a minute. Until your arm gets to be totally sore and then sometimes I even have to switch hands. But you just try it and see how out of breath you get from just whipping some stupid heavy whipping cream. And now, see it's like whipped cream now, and like the best whipped cream you've ever tasted in your whole life. Now I'm gonna go over to the sink and I'm gonna pour my hot chocolate into my cute little Santa pitcher. And I like to pour just about half of the mug full. And then you take a big giant scoop of your whipped cream, so the whole top is covered. And then this is the part where you gently, with your whisk, you gently mix it until the whipped cream gets all whipped and frothy and melty on top. Now you can put marshmallows in here, or what I like to do is I like to put another dollop of the whipped cream on top because this, it's like cold so it helps cool the hot chocolate down so it doesn't burn your mouth. And now my favorite part, we get to drink it. My goodness, once you make this, you will never drink hot chocolate the regular way again with a regular store-bought whipped cream or anything because this huge hugs and lots of mugs of hot chocolate from my house to yours. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you can see whatever random video my next one may be about or if you have ideas, comment below. And thumbs up this video if you love hot chocolate maybe as much as I do.